you know, there are places that are always uh, significantly important to me. One is New Jersey, where I was born and raised and established. Jordan Burroughs of Winslow Township. Two was Nebraska, where I became great. Jordan Burroughs, a two-time national champion, and this year, Jordan. Lastly is, is the U.S., where I represent with the stars and stripes on my chest everywhere that I go around the world. And Jordan Burroughs is now Olympic champion. He has the gold medal. You know, being a representative of Nebraska is very important to me. As long as I'm alive, I'll always be tied into to this university. It's never about winning. It's about performing. If you can perform, you'll win. If I bring my A game, I don't think there's anybody in the world that can beat me in a wrestling match. to him, Jordan Burroughs, do what you do best, clear ties, fakes, double legs, push outs, and if he gets that accomplished, he's going to be making history, American history, seventh gold medal on the way. This Take me back, what was it like the first time you met Jordan Burroughs, the recruiting process, what was your first impression of him? Well, what it was like, it was he was just a young kid, you know, he was 17 years old, you know, he was just a skinny little 119 pounder at that time. State runner-up that year at the state tournament that year. It's kind of the first time I saw Jordan. You know, I really didn't know how good he was. Well, I mean, for New Jersey, you're right there. New Jersey, Pennsylvania, um, Ohio. It's really the top of wrestling um, as far as the states. And so the competition's strong. The love and the demand and the appreciation for the sport is strong. Him being from uh, you know, from from South Jersey, Winslow Township, like where I'm from, the Lehigh Valley is really like the mecca of wrestling. You know, it's only like 60 miles away, but South Jersey's great. You know, it's where James Green's from. A lot of studs have come out of South Jersey, um, so there, there's there's a decorated past there as well. To come from the East Coast, to come from Jersey, uh, Dirty Jersey wrestling is is always um, an honor to represent the state. You know, the the most famous guy in the, in the recruiting process is really his best friend, Vince Jones. And Vince was one year older than Jordan, and they grew up next door to each other since they were six years old. And so when, once we recruited Vince, Jordan was kind of, it, it was an easy get because they're best friends, their families were tight. I remember Vince's dad told me, Coach, you'll be back getting Jordan next year. I'm thinking, eh, I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, the, the, the major factor that drove me here was a scholarship. I wasn't highly recruited, and this was the one place that was offering me a, a full ride. You know, there's a couple principles we teach about, you know, you gotta manage two things, and that is prosperity, and you gotta manage adversity. And Jordan learned that early when it, his freshman year. He didn't want a red shirt, he wanted to wrestle right away. And we had another young man who was a two-time NCAA qualifier, Rob Sanders. Same weight class. He had to beat him out, and and Rob was was a tough out. He was a tough guy. Really, that process really helped Jordan spring spring onto the wrestling scene. And and when he did, he made a jump in his wrestling. He made a jump in his work ethic, his intensity, just how he approached practice. And um, you know, he understood, hey, this my clock's running, and I I uh, I got to make the most of it. It was kind of a wake-up moment for him. I bring my A-game every match. Uh, took third last year, so anything less than first place is pretty much a disappointment for me. Now uh, Burroughs, athletic ability, speed, and that early takedown was able to work that his tactic and strategy to the victory. Jordan Burroughs at 157 pounds. So congratulations to the Usain Bolt of college wrestling. I tell you, Todd, of the 330 athletes here this weekend, this guy, to me, is the best athlete of the entire group. Jordan Burroughs, a two-time national champion, and this year, he is perfect. Burrow.
Brilliant performance. First two-timer for the Nebraska Huskers, Jordan Burroughs. At the moment in which I signed that national letter of intent, you have no idea what the future holds for you. But, you know, just through consistent hard work, through great coaches, great training partners, great facilities, an amazing fan base, a lot of love, being far away from home. I grew up in Jersey. I was 20 hours away from home. Um, with no family, no network, and I really had to grow as a man and establish myself. And you know, I credit Nebraska for for who I am today and all the things that I've grown to be. This, this is where he. This is where he grew up. This is where he became the man he is. Now, obviously, he's evolved since he's since he's left here, and that's that's what the best do. That they always evolve. Um, you know, but just to see him, his relationship with with Coach Manning, his relationship with me. I was here for 15 years, so there was no one in the world that I spent more time with over the last decade and a half than, than Mark Manning. Um, he, he took me under his wing and he, he was my father for an extended period of time. He fought for me, he pushed me, um, he, he went to battle with me and alongside me and really helped to, to change my life. Doc Snyder has been a mentor. He was someone that I just admired so much when he first arrived here. And he was player coach partner for me for a long period of time. And so he was like my big brother as I went through this process. You know, I can't thank those guys enough for everything that they've done. They truly committed a ton of time. Like their, their job and their duty is to be Big Ten champions, NCAA champions. Um, Olympic and world champion is not in their job description, but because of how important it is to me, it became important to them. And so when they embraced my journey, it, it really intertwined us for life. So they said they're going to take us on this golf cart right here. Herbie's going to be in the back holding this American flag. We're just going to drive really off the golf course. Never pictured this, but uh, you know, I always knew along the way there was going to be someone in our program step up. And uh, Jordan was a, just a special guy out of the gate. You know, it's just been a great ride being able to, you know, travel around the world together. And, to, to experience a lot of different things, but one, just become the best competitor in U.S. history. got here, I never thought that I would be in this position that I'm in now. It's been uh, a lot of hard work, a lot of determination, but ultimately this place provided the, the platform for, for my life and career. It's anything is possible. And, and I say especially this is, you know, it sounds cliche, but there truly is no place like Nebraska. When it comes to loyalty, when it comes to a family atmosphere, when it comes to, to maximizing performance and really utilizing your gifts and skills and seeing what your potential can truly be, there's no place like Nebraska. Staying power in this sport, it, it takes commitment um, to your craft. It takes dedication and focus. It takes a lot of discipline, uh, but also it, it takes a, a supreme amount of hunger to pursue something that, that is lofty and difficult. And then the people around you in your circle to keep you focused on that journey. Like I was intently chasing that seventh gold medal throughout my entire career. So I, I didn't want to retire until I got it. And, you know, essentially that's what pushed me for a long time. Will it be history tonight for the United States and another record for the master of the sport, Jordan Burroughs to the center of the map. Burroughs has done it. He has done it. Seven world golds for Jordan Burroughs, the greatest American wrestler of all time. Jordan, congratulations. It's been phenomenal watching you. Well, as he celebrates, you hear the USA chants. What a phenomenal performance. What a phenomenal career, and he's not done. Jordan Burroughs, world champion once again. JB's run has been historic, not only because there's a number seven, but because the, the field is tougher, both domestically um, and, you know, and internationally. But just that level of perseverance um, to, to stay motivated when, when, you know, when a target's been on your back for forever, since 2011. Jordan Burroughs wins a world title.
title. First champion for the U.S. since 2006. What Jordan a performance. really overcame uh, a huge obstacle, and I think it raised the level instantly of USA Wrestling, the perception of USA Wrestling. Jordan Burroughs is going to be world champion 2013. In 2010, I think we had zero medals. And so what he's, he elevated not only Nebraska wrestling, but he elevated USA wrestling. Um, I mean, the, when, when he came in and made the team, we, we were down. We were really down. And then we just, we went on a run. He gave us all, not his whole mind, his whole body, his whole spirit. And that's why people love to watch him wrestle and watch him compete because it's like almost like a spirit's coming out of him. That competitive drive and that that uh, that really motivates, that inspires other people, and that's that's what makes him special. And that's why, you know, he is the best. That's why he's the goat today. It's because of that spirit and that perseverance that he he demonstrates all the time. I mean, he's done. He's you know, obviously, he's he's done so much for us, right? Um, you know, to, to have the greatest wrestler in the history of the sport, or in, in the history of our country, wrestle and graduate from Nebraska is great for us. It, it's it's big. It's it's hey, wow, this is this is where Jordan Burroughs went, and so it's possible. There's 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 brings hope and um, light that hey, you can come to Nebraska and you can be the best, and. Um, that's something we want to be noted for, and Jordan represents that. At this point now, you know, you almost say you're playing with house money. You know, I've done everything that I set out to do. I've achieved all my goals in the sport. I've become the new standard bearer for the sport, and everyone in rec wrestling recognizes me and respects my accomplishments. So I think, it, yeah, it's a sense of freedom, uh, a sense of relief where I can kind of operate with, with a lot more peacefulness, knowing that regardless of whether I wrestle ever again or not, I've, I've done what I set out to do, and the goal was to win more world championships than anyone ever. Someone, someone's gonna break it someday. There's a lot of people that are hot on my tail, but for this period of time, I'll always be the guy that, that, that went in this new generation and broke the record. You get to a place where I, I can make it out unscathed, my body's still relatively healthy, my mind's still sharp, and my wife's still happy and my kids still get the dad that they deserve. And I think that if I can do all those things, I've done enough. I've done enough. I feel good about what I was able to do, um, but I'm not done. I'm not done, I'm still hungry, I still wanna do more, and I, I still have plenty more in the tank.